on the science boards we're teaching about vertical agriculture and growing the most amount of plants in the smallest space available. So the plants are actually grown in basalt, it's a type of rock. And the great thing about rodan or rock wool is that it holds, it holds water. So we literally drop the seeds into the rodan uh, cubes and then six weeks later we have full grown plants. We're using different types of substrates on the science barge. So these clay pellets are called hydratons or agricultural pellets. And plants are smart. They know where the water is, their roots uh, follow the, the water in the, in the clay pellets. So this is a vertical system called a vertigo. And it uses styrofoam boxes that are stacked. Sometimes these are called stackers. So we have a one foot by three foot uh, footprint where normally you might be able to grow maybe 12 or 16 plants. But using this system, we can stack them 10 feet high. Each plant holds, each box holds four plants. So we can grow 80 plants in the space of a one foot by three foot space. Again, this is a system you can make yourselves. Anthony that works with us, he designed his own system using, again, plastic pipes that he stacked up, an aquarium pump, and, and a hose that brings the water up to the top. So these parts here that we're using, it's the top of a two liter soda bottle. piece of PVC pipe and another piece 20 cents 20 cents 40 cents plus an aquarium pump to design a system like that and you're on your way and this is an American hydroponic system it's called a beta bucket system you have the buckets down there and again you can do this at home uh, we're using the Rockwell cubes we're incorporating the hydratons, the clay pellets, and this system gets watered every two hours for two minutes, the water comes on and the nutrients. And again, the system is on a timer. So all these plants started out in a Rockwell cube. I call it the miracle of the seed, which I think to me a seed is magic that you put it in and the seed sprouts. In this case, we have a little basil plant but these plants are probably, I guess, about three months old. You know, these are uh, jalapeno pepper plants. So we've been harvesting peppers steadily, and they are hot. We're teaching about growing high, that you can grow up in the greenhouse, or you could do this at home. And some of the secrets, or they're not really secrets, it's kind of common sense. These nylon strings, go up to the top of the rafters. This is a greenhouse clip. And it works to hold the plant. We're growing melons, cantaloupes, eight feet in the air. And the weight of the cantaloupe is held by these clips. So the idea is that the clip has a little notch. It grabs the string and you can pull on it. It holds the weight. So instead of a, it just clips on the thing and it holds the stem. And it's fast, it's neat, and it works. And that will, that's what we're teaching about in urban farming, how to make this, these systems work to the maximum potential. This is our tomato system. You can get a better look at the, the vines. These plants were started in March. We're using we're using the clay pellets as a substrate. And we talked about the, the rock wheel cubes. In this system, we're using a, a four inch rock wheel cube because it's a bigger plant. But if you can look at the stem on this tomato plant, it really is an incredible vine. And these are what you call an indeterminate plant. 
that the tomato vines will just keep growing and growing and, and producing fruit. So in this, in this system, we're letting the vines grow high, we harvest the tomatoes and then we drop the vines down. And then the vines will grow up again and we can harvest them again. So we can grow an incredible amount of plants in a small space. And then the next generation of ideas that came out, it's like a good idea trying to make it better. So this is a simple system that people could do at home using landscape fabric. The idea is that the water and nutrients is, is down in the five gallon bucket. It gets pushed up by an air pump up to the top and then it drips down. In the pockets we have our Rockwell cube and some hydrotons. So these plants get watered on a drip system all the way down. And they do a great job growing vegetables and it's a simple system and I think the answer to what we want to do in life a lot of times is using simple systems that work and this one definitely does. In the end what we're trying to teach on the science board in Yonkers is people can be sustainable. They can grow their own food in the city using hydroponics. We can use renewable energy to power the system whether it's wind or solar technology People can be sustainable and they can be independent. They can learn from the systems that we teach that growing vegetables and providing their own electricity is possible. And that's the message we want to get to people, that urban farming will work and it can be done every day. <laughs> Cut that sucker off. <laughs>